Dylan here? Yeah, he is. Dylan! Hold on a sec. Dylan! Yeah, what's up? There's someone at the door for you. Okay. Hey, Serena. Hey, Dylan. What are you doing here? Yeah, so I know I'm super late, but I finally just picked up my yearbook last week. Did you get yours? Oh, no, I, uh, I didn't really think it was worth it because the year was kind of ending early. I mean, we didn't have a real graduation. Yeah, it was pretty lame. The time slots by last name sucked. I didn't get to see half my friends. Same. Anyway, that's why I came by. I still got one. <laughs> I guess I'm just trying to salvage any bit of a normal senior year. I was hoping you could sign it. You want me to sign it? Yeah. I'm going around and asking friends. Do you have time? Uh, yeah, sure. You can choose any spot. It's still pretty empty. I haven't gotten around to that many people. Okay, I, I can, um, should I, I mean, I'm gonna go inside. Oh, yeah, <laughs> if you need to. I can wait out here. Okay. <laughs> Be right back. Hey, Serena. With high school ending, there's so much that I want to say that I don't even know if a page is enough. But I just want to start off by saying thank you. Thank you for making my senior year the best year of my life. I know that we've known each other since middle school and we've seen each other around campus, but this last semester, we were finally put in the same class. I was so excited to see you come through those doors and I looked forward to a spring where we could become closer friends. It started with group projects and study sessions and little by little, we got to learn more about each other, along with some Spanish. I learned your favorite boba order, taro sweet milk, 75% sweet, less ice. You learned that I absolutely hate ketchup, and that is one of my deepest secrets. I also learned how much getting into your dream college meant to you. The day you found out you didn't get in, I saw how devastated you were. When you started crying, I wanted to hug you. Shut up, hugs you. We went through so much last quarter together, and I think that's why I felt so right to ask you to prom. I always imagined what my senior prom would look like, and I mean, you see it in movies, but everything about our night together was perfect. Even the imperfect parts, like when you poked your finger trying to put on my boot and hair. Or the fact that the last song wasn't slow. We still danced in our own world. And in that imperfect, perfect moment, I knew that we had something that no one else had.
and nothing would ever be the same for us again. I don't think either of us ever expected to start a relationship at the very end of high school, but it was actually the best time. With nothing to lose and everything to experience, you and I turned the final weeks of the year into adventures I will never forget. Our first love. At graduation, I thought about all the memories that we made this spring, and I was so grateful to share them with you. You looked over at me and saw me tearing up. I know you're confused, but it's because I was thinking about how all of these memories never happened. I never got a chance to. This is everything I wish I could have written. All the things that I saw happening for us this past spring, if we had one. Instead, all I can say is Oh, that was fast. Yeah, uh, didn't want to keep you waiting, so. Thanks for signing it. I hope we keep in touch too. Yeah. Um, I'll see you around then. See ya. Serena. Yeah? I know it's already August, but what are you doing the rest of the summer? Um, not much. Why? Do you want to hang out sometime? Yeah, I'd like that. I might be leaving for college at the end of the month, though. Then we shouldn't waste any time. <laughs> Hey everyone, hope you're staying safe and sane. I know it's been a while since we released a new short film on this channel, so it feels really good to be back and telling stories for everyone. To everyone who's been affected by this pandemic and the quarantine and the lockdown, this video is dedicated to you. Everyone on the team has been impacted and inspired by uh, everything happening in the world because of the pandemic and all the stories that have resulted from it, or in this case, the stories that didn't happen because of it. So yeah, we just really wanted to figure out a way to get back to making videos, telling stories, and doing it in a safe way under the new conditions of this world. This short was made following all the COVID safety compliances. Everyone got tested, everyone's been safe since. But yeah, this is just the new world that we're in and that we have to figure out and navigate if we want to keep making videos for y'all. But uh, that's why we want to say especially thank you um, to those who purchased the short to watch ahead of time and to our care holders on Patreon for contributing to us every month. Uh, that really, really helps keep us going 
and um, we're just so grateful. You can check out the links below for ways to support Wong Fu, but for now, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you again real soon with some new videos. Later.